this, this exercise is called the big toe matrix. So we're going to be focusing on extension of that big toe. So this position that we need to be able to push off and propel forward. All right. A lot of people are limited in this extended position. They might be stiff in the joints. They might be stiff because of muscle tightness pulling and not allowing us to get there. And that'll turn into a situation where that person, instead of pushing through the big toe, we go around it. Right? So they may push out that way, right? Or they just lift off early. So they don't even get into that position. So we're limited our, our ability to propel forward. So in order to restore some of that motion, we want to go into the position and then we want to move the joint in all directions to loosen up that joint. So we want to think about forward, back, side, side, and then even, you know, twisting or rotations in circles. So I come into this position. It's almost like a little calf stretch position against the wall. All right. So that back foot is what I'm working on. The, the foot I wore, I went barefoot in socks. So you can see we're working on the barefoot side. All right. So I'm in that position. I feel the stretch through here, all right? So I'm feeling a stretch. And then all I'm gonna do is use my hips to just rock forward and back. So I'm not moving the foot necessarily. The foot will move as a result of me rocking my hips. Okay, so forward and back. We'll do the prescribed reps there. Then we're gonna lock into that stretch position. And now I'm gonna rock my hips side to side. Okay, so now I'm creating some of these more um, you know, la medial lateral rotations on the joint to open it up a little bit. And then we do circles clockwise, circles, circles counter counterclockwise. So now what I'm doing with the hips is I'm actually hula hooping a little bit. And Carissa hopefully will come up to my hips so you can all see how good my hips move. All right. And then we counterclockwise rotations. And you can see my foot, my heel is moving, but it's as a byproduct of my hips moving. I'm not doing the motion with the foot and the ankle, creating it up top. 